Good morning and welcome to BYD Race Circuit in Zhengzhou. Today we're gonna experience the latest technology which BYD has to show. We're gonna try racing in Yangwan U9. We're gonna try floating in Yangwan U8. We're gonna try off-road in Fanchen Bao. Also gonna learn about architecture of each car. I also want to show you today, guys, how the factory works. Let's go upstairs on the second floor and I will show you everything. We are now in BYD Reception Center, but here we have a brief history of the BYD Group. And as we just now learned, BYD Group itself has four main industries. So one of them is a public transportation, which is quite big globally. They build buses and uh, trains. Another one, another arm is for cars. Uh, plus we have the uh, cheap and battery production, which is also a very big business globally. A lot of cars like Tesla buying from BYD in China, their batteries. And then we have the uh, new energy wing, which is producing solar panels and the uh, power storage units. This side we have a patent tool. This is really, really impressive. Look at this. There are hundreds of patents which BYD actually put there. All their core technologies, all their achievements, it's all here. This is unbelievable. This is the biggest patent wall I've seen so far. Standing here, you feel the power of China, power of UID. And, of course, it all cannot happen without all of these people. These are the most outstanding engineers and tech people from BYD company. Now, staying next to these pictures, you really feel that people really put a lot of effort in their job here. It's not just nine to six work. It's actually real lifestyle for these people. Let's keep going, guys. This place is truly impressive, guys. Here we have a mini factory, line by line. Every piece of production introduced here. Let me show it to you. Behind me is Yanwan U9, the jewel in the crown of BYD Group. This is the most impressive car BYD ever built. This car recently broke the world record of 496 kilometers per hour. It is the fastest car in the world ever built. It is really impressive. This car can dance, it can jump, it can come over several meters obstacle just on the go. The tech here is just incredible. This car is not for driving on the roads mostly, but it showcases the achievement the BYD group had so far. It shows all the tech they possess. And I tell you, it looks stunning. Let's show inside. It feels really great. You know what's interesting? There is even the space inside for you to wear the helmet. So it gives you here and on the passenger side like special space for you to feel the track. I'm ready guys. Now I'm gonna sit in the uh, young one U9 and have two laps around the circuit to see how this car performs in the real world. Let's go. Woohoo! 150, 170, 190. Ooh. Wow. Slippery track. Unbelievable. The first quarter. I feel so excited. The car handles really, really well, even on the wet track. Ooh. You can feel the tires spinning left and right. I would love to try driving it on my own. This was really great experience. Two laps is like one and a half or two minutes, but the feeling is just incredible. The support, the side support on the car helps really a lot because on the track it's throwing you from left to right. 
Like, really great. Whew, very good driver. Shisha. Okay. Shisha. Woo, that was something. I finished four laps in this beautiful car. Two laps in red one and two laps in blue one. And I tell you guys, it is really incredible. The acceleration, the braking performance, the handling, cornering, and in general, the feeling about being there, it does feel really good. Come on here, what do you think about it? <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, but this is, this is you have to crouch down and chop down. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> How did you fit inside it though? Uh, it's all right, it's all right. Actually, yeah. you're sitting quite low, so it's fine. Yeah, okay, so enough. What about you? Yeah, fine. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Thank you for joining. Yeah. yeah, so you see guys, everybody loved it. Let's go to see more. This is our first experience here. We have Young One U8 and it's gonna go to this ramp. This ramp is one of the steepest ramp built in China and it's fully covered with the sand. So it's imitate the desert. It does showcase the performance and the ability of this car. It is incredible, you know. Let's just see it on our own eyes. U8 going up there. Look at it. Again, it's going there again. And it's gonna make you turn on the top and then go down. Wow. It is incredible, isn't it? Unbelievable. It looks so easy for this car. I, I'm pretty sure like none of other cars can just make it. None of other SUVs can make it. Here we have the intelligent chassis for Function Bar. It is built on DMO platform and all here stands for off-road performance. But why is it special? First of all, because it uses the integrated cell to chassis assembly, CTC. It is the first car in the class which put in mind that the battery should be different for off-road and they tuned the battery particularly for the off-road performance. Besides that, they made sure that the battery weight is equally distributed and has 50-50 uh, intelligent distribution. Plus, it has a lot of uh, AI integrated in it. So everything is controlled and prepared for the off-road. paper, it looks really perfect. However, I'm not sure how does it work in the real world. How about we go there now and see? Let's go. The first obstacle course, it feels like we're somewhere in the forest and there are logs and rocks down there. It's quite easy for the car. You do feel that you're going through something really large, but you don't feel that the car is struggling with it. The car definitely doesn't struggle. It overcomes every obstacle very, very easily, which is quite impressive. Look at this. I tried this before in Chengdu, but it wasn't slippery. Now it is rainy day. So, 45 degree. Whoa, 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 whoa. It feels like we're gonna just, just flip over. Made it so easy. Look again. Done. Super easy. And now we are going down. The driver turned on the heel descent control so he doesn't need to use brake. The car can just control the speed of descending on its own. Look at this. You see no brake. And the car is just going by itself completely with the heel descent control. Very, very advanced technology. I have this function in my car. I tried it several times. It doesn't work this good. Now we go on the metal ramp. Again, rainy day, very slippery. I'm not sure we can even make it, but let's see. No, it's quite easy. It's really easy for this car. We're on the top of the bridge and then now we're going down. Look, boom, we are down. It's quite fun. This is the newest BYD charger, which can deliver up to one mega, 1000 kilowatt power. And to be honest with you, it's quite light. It's similar to Tesla supercharger. The key is very sick, it uses the new cooling system. So if you plug your car, basically any new BYD, for both, for both sides, you can get 1,000 kilowatt charging. Of course, it won't sustain for a very long time. You can get about 
two kilometers in every second of charging. Think about it. Like less than 10 minutes and you're ready to go. It smokes Tesla just crazy. This car has a very smart self central computing platform. This platform acts as our brain, very similar to it. So it gathers information from all the sensors, from all the cameras, and then helps car using AI to make the right decision. Which differential to lock, which will to spin faster, which will to spin, spin slower, and how to lock the valve so the car can float if it's needed. It is very, very advanced system and it does showcase the knowledge which BYD possess at current stage. It is really incredible. Now we're going to go to float and you will see how it works in real life. I, I can feel the water underneath, like, you know, the camera is fully underwater so you can see like where the car is going. Look at this. Look at this. It's still so unbelievable. Now we're going to experience the U-turn in the water. So you don't just flow. You actually drive and you navigate in the water. One of the tires is going to be blocked, as I understood, and then other three are going to work together. Wow, that was something. The power, precision, and this pure adrenaline we got here, this car, they just deliver something unbelievable. You really have to feel it to believe in it. Here today, I start to understand that BYD is not just about the electric mobility. It's about rewriting the rules of the performance itself. If you enjoy this ride, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. More exciting journeys are on the way.